Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you this pastel inspired look that I did, uh, it just kind of came out of nowhere and uh, I hope you like it. Let's get into the video. All right, so I already have my base on and I'm gonna be starting off with the Kat Von D Beauty Pastel Goth Palette. So I'm gonna go in with Clementine to begin and I'm applying this with my Dose of Colors blending brush. And I'm just gonna kind of start placing shades around my eyes, trying to keep it balanced, but there isn't really a method. But I'm starting off with the warmer shades and then I'm gonna start moving into the cooler shades, making sure to blend into them. So I almost use every shade from this palette, but I'm basically just placing them around my eyes to create a sort of chaotic balance, I guess. So there isn't anywhere specific that you have to place these shades. I like to start with colors that are going to blend easily. Because these are light pastel, the majority of them are gonna blend well, they're going to look nice. And the brushes that I used varied between a fluffier blending brush or a more concentrated blending brush, depending on where I was placing the shade. Now I'm picking up this lavender shade from the Dose of Colors Ice Cream Palette, and I'm just gonna be placing this all over the lid. When picking colors, I just wanted to make sure that they were going to be complementary. Like I said, for the most part, I stuck with the Pastel Goth palette, but I wanted to add a little bit more dimension. When you're working with a lot of colors like this, it's best to just place the color down and blend it out and then move on to the next color and worry about blending them into each other later on. If you're using the right brush, it'll pretty much do the work for you. Now I'm gonna grab Bitten from Makeup Geek and I'm gonna start defining the outer corner because even though this is just color placed pretty much anywhere on my eye, I still wanted it to look like eye makeup. So I'm just deepening up the outer corner of my right, is it my right eye? No, my left eye. <laughs> And then I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the opposite eye using Neptune. Now I'm going in with a little bit of Peacock to add a little bit more of a green tinge. And then I'm gonna take Sure Thing and I don't know, I just kind of wanted to use that mint color. So I'm just kind of blending into pretty much anywhere and it'll fit. Now I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Air Blush in the color Night Fever and Hot Stuff. And I had already contoured and bronzed, but I decided that I just kind of wanted to take this color all over my face. So I'm going into the areas where I would bronze with this color. And I'm applying that with my Marc Jacobs Blush Brush. I'm gonna highlight using the new Violet Voss Rose Gold Palette, and I'm using the shade Tea Rose. This is a beautiful rosy shade with a gold overtone. And then I'm using the lightest shade to hit the highest points of my face. Then I'm gonna be taking T-Rose again and I'm just going to hit my collarbones and my chest and my shoulders and I just wanted to go all over the place, honestly. For mascara, I'm using L'Oreal Telescopic. And 
and then I'm going in with the Violet Voss lashes in the style Come On Eileen. To line my lips, I'm using the Bite Beauty lip pencil in number 36. And then I'm going in with the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Rosebud all over my lips. To pull the lips into the rest of the look, I decided to go into the center with T-Rose again. And then set my face with the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist. All right guys, that is it for this look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments down below. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Those will all be listed below. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.